Sounds good. All right. I um, wanted to start with some announcements. First of all, February, both of you completely rocked it. So congratulations. Yay. Adrian had 13, Amber had 10, and then Brandy had four, which was great. Cool. Um, and like I posted in our group, I think we, pretty sure we ended with 31. So I think I ended at eight. Um, but we should get an email about that soon. And then they'll send out the prizes. I don't know. It'll probably be a couple weeks. But yay. Exciting. Yay. Guys, that's awesome. Um, our new challenge group, well, we just had one that just started. And then the next one will be March 14th. Um, uh, we're going to call it Spring into Health. Because, you know, springtime's coming. Yes. Um, I know it already feels like summer here. It's been like 85 degrees like every day. It's kind of actually jealousy. crazy. <laughs> it's yes. just going to get hotter from here though. So you're not going to be jealous this summer when it's like 120. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see, that starts the 14th. Um, and 22 minute hardcore just came out yesterday. Did either of you order it? Or are you going? Not to yet, but it's on my to-do list. Yeah. I just ordered it yesterday. And if you get just the basic package, it's like 30 bucks. I was like, nice. Right. Yeah. The deluxe package is 60, I want to say. And then you get, um, you get a couple extra workouts and you get the sandbag also. But I was like, I'm just going to get the basic for now. If I want to upgrade later, I will. But yeah. Um, there, I don't know if you listened to it, but on Monday, Tony Horton was on the National Wake Up Call talking all about the program. So if you don't know much about it, that would be a really good one to listen to. I just listened to it the other day. Um, gave a lot of information about it and just ways that you can kind of talk it up to people too. Um, and then I saw, um, I saw this morning when I was doing my workout on demand, I was hoping that my hardcore or my, yeah, hardcore was already on there, but it wasn't yet. But, um, it was like the challenge du jour today. I don't know if you could have accessed all the workouts or if it was just a different one or what, but you're supposed to be able to access some of the workouts for that one today. But when I got up this morning, it wasn't live yet. So I think it's checked out, but, um, for February or for February, for March, the challenge pack sales are the 22 minute hardcore for 140 plus they will get a, the free sandbag with it this month. Um, after this month, that's not something that comes with the challenge pack anymore. Um, they can either get that with the Shakeology or they can get it with the Energize and Recover from the performance line. So they can decide which route they want to go. And both of those are 140. Pio's on sale for 140 um, or the Pio Kickstart, I think, is 180 with the three day refresh. And then the three day refresh one is still on sale or always on sale. I don't know, <laughs> but it's still 140. Um, and then the success club prize for this month is if you hit at least success club five, you get the, um, performance line sampler pack. Have mm -hmm. either of you tried any of the performance line stuff? I've wanted to, but I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. It's, it's definitely motivating. Mm -hmm. I love the energize. I have never taken a pre-workout before and I decided to try that stuff and I loved it. And then as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I was like, I should probably stop taking this. <laughs> I was just pretty disappointed. But um, I've tried the other ones just like from, I bought a sampler pack at Summit over the summer. Um, the Recover is delicious. It's like a chocolate shake. It's really good. And the nighttime one, Recharge is, is a vanilla flavor. That one's good too. The hydrate one was fine. It wasn't really something I felt like I would use very much because I like to drink water during my workouts, but that one tasted good too. Um, so yeah, the, um, so you'll get the sampler pack when you hit success club this month. So it's exciting. Is um, Energize different than E and E? Those two are yeah, different. Right? I mean, it's the same type of concept, but Energize is the newer one that just came out this summer e and okay. e been around for a while. Okay. I never tried e, e I know some people prefer e, e and a lot of people prefer Energize, so okay. I love the Energize, so. <laughs> gotcha. Um, Super Saturday is coming up. I don't know if you've looked into seeing if there's one near you at all. April 2nd, I believe, pretty sure. Um, so find one. Hopefully you've got one not too far away. Um, you can also search. I um, just searched um, on Facebook for a group of – Arizona beach body coaches. And that's where I find all that information. So you can just search for like New York beach body coaches or are you in Indiana or Illinois? I always get those mixed up. 
I'm in Indiana. Indiana. Indiana Peachbody <laughs> Coaches. Search if you're not already in a group like that. Um, you can try to find one of those, see if they have something like that. Um, okay. Because then there's, like, for the most part, most states have, like, a um, council of coaches, like, top coaches in that state that plan all these things, and they'll post about, post about them in there and stuff. And then there's always pretty much usually – people posting things that they're trying to sell, like extra bags of Shakeology or whatever. So people post those things in, in those groups a lot too. But anyway, so you can find out about Super Saturday. Because um, I originally was trying, the first time I was going to go to one, I was trying to look on the um, Beachbody site for a Super Saturday nearby, and I couldn't find anything. But then once I on that Facebook group, they posted all in there. Um, so yeah, so check that out. Um, let's see. Oh, our next team call um, in two weeks, I'm actually going to be leading the Fearless and Fit team call again while everyone else is on the cruise. Oh, sad. oh tears. <laughs> I know, and I almost got on the cruise. I got sent an email last week saying, hey, we've got 70 open spots. We're sending this email to 200 people, basically first come, first serve. And I was like, bah, okay, but <laughs> the only rooms left or the rooms left, you can only have two people. So we couldn't bring Cammy. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to find someone to watch Cammy for a week in three in three weeks. So Aww. I can't pass up on that. I was very disappointed. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, so while they're all on the cruise, I'm gonna be doing the call. So we'll be doing that'll just count as our team call that week. It'll be on Tuesday night, like Amy's calls usually are at nine. Yeah. Nine, your guys' time. Um so that's on the 15th. All right, next. Um, I was wondering, do you guys think, do we want to do like a free group again this month at all? Do you have any ideas of, or we could just try to do a Shakeology group like we talked about, or do we want a group that like, that wouldn't be free, but do we want to do a group that focuses on the new program, the 22 minute, or I don't know, what do you guys think? Any ideas? <laughs> I love the idea of a Shakeology group. Um, I, when you said that the last time, I thought that sounded interesting. Okay, we can try to plan to do that maybe towards um, the end of the month or like the week after the 15th. I don't know, can count in front of me. But we could do that and then hopefully, you know, people who join that group then um, love Shakeology and want to buy a challenge back for you yes. know, the next month or whatever. Um, and we can decide whether whether you have packets yourself that you want to sell to them. You can do that. Or we could do it like a seven-day group because they now have the seven-day sampler that has one of every flavor. And then that way you're not having to buy stuff and then sell it. Or if you already have stuff and that's what you want to promote and try to get rid of your stuff, that's fine. But you could do it either way, really. Um, I'll look at the calendar and probably – I mean, I don't know. Do you think the last week of March would be too late, or do you think that would be okay? Because then that's like two weeks after our um, yeah our new group starts. So like maybe start at like the twenty eighth. I think that sounds good. I think that's okay. Yeah. Um, stocking up on samples. What? I've been stocking up on samples. I know. So. I've got a bunch too. I'm trying to get rid of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Well, let's plan it for that. The last week of March, we'll start it on that Monday, the twenty eighth. We'll do. Do you want to do a full seven-day one, or do we just want to call it a five-day one? Or I mean, we could still promote the seven-day sampler pack, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Five days sounds fine. Five? Like Monday through Friday, because I feel like, I mean, we could do a seven days, but I feel like you kind of start to lose people over the weekend on a short mm -hmm. trip like that. So yeah. we'll, just, we'll just call it five days, but and then we can, you know, if you want to sell them your own samples or have them buy the sampler pack, that's fine. We'll just end up with a couple extra. All right, we'll okay. take that. Last week of March, we'll do a Shakeology group. And um, so they would have to get the samples of Shakeology to be in the group. So it's not really a completely free group, but it is cheaper than other groups. Um, How much would we, if they didn't do the sampler that's already for sale and we were just selling like five, how much do you think we should charge for that? I generally um, do $5 a packet. Um, and depending on if I have to ship it to them, sometimes I'll add a little extra for shipping. Um, so, like, let's see, lately I've been doing the three-day samplers, and I've been selling those for 15 And then I have not been charging for shipping for those just because it's a smaller amount. 
Um, and then in the past, I think I've done like seven days for like, I have even done it for 40. I don't remember. Um, but like my general rule of thumb is $5 per sample package. Mm -hmm. And that way you're still making a little bit of money. Like you're making back what you spent plus a little bit of extra. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you can decide how you want to do it, but that's what I usually do. Okay. Um, and I think when I promoted like some of my samplers recently, I did like the three for 15 and then for seven, for a seven day one, I think I might've made it just like a little bit cheaper than $5 per. So it's like they get a little bit better deal by doing a seven day one, but I don't know. Okay. It's up to you, just however you want to do it. Um, because the thing is if they buy it through you as opposed to through Beachbody, um, through Beachbody to pay all the tax and shipping and stuff. And I feel like that adds up pretty quick. So they might be able to save money by getting it from you. Okay. All right. Um, that's all I had for announcements. Any questions about any of that or anything before we move on? All right. Um, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about time management. And obviously by no means am I professional, but I'm just going to kind of share with you some of the things that have helped me a little bit. Um, one of my favorite quotes I've heard multiple times from different things that I've listened to or different places that I've gone um, for Beachbody stuff is Beachbody should give you a life. It shouldn't be your life. And I totally agree with that 100%. Um, when I first really got into coaching, I felt like I spent all my time thinking about Beachbody, staring at my phone, getting on my computer, checking this, checking that. And like Preston started noticing and getting annoyed and me like, you're always on your phone. You're always doing this. You're always doing that. And I'm like, oh, sorry, trying to make some money. <laughs> but, um, so over time, I feel like I was at one extreme for a while. And then I was at another extreme where I wasn't doing enough with it. And then I'm hopefully now getting more into a happy medium. So, mm -hmm. um, so here are just some top tips to think about. Um, First one is definitely to set business hours. This is something that I like never did for months and months and months. Um, but plan when you're going to work on your business and stick to that. Don't feel like you have to work on it all day long. Don't feel like every free second you have, you have to go and check your phone. Um, you know, decide how much you want to put into it, how much like, you know, obviously the more work you put in, the more you're going to get out, but you don't want it to completely take over your entire life. Um, so like for me, I have my, um, I have some time that I spend on it in the morning before Cammy gets up because I check into my challenge groups and things like that. And then nap time is when I set my power hour and I usually end up working on beach body stuff a little bit longer than that, depending on how long she sleeps. And then in the evenings, I, um, do some more time with it as well. Um, so make sure, um, um, like I was, I had a hard time setting hours because I felt like my days changed a lot. So if you don't literally have like, oh, from 8.15 to 9.45, I'm going to do this. That's okay. But have like kind of like a specific time of day where you know this is when I do that. Or during nap time is when I do this. Or during, you know, once the kids go to bed is when I do this. Um, um, make time for family. That's a big one. Uh, schedule it in if you have to. Um, I know, you know, as busy moms, we you know, are with our kids all the time. So we don't necessarily have to make time for that because they're always there. But, you know, husband time and weekend time, things like that. I generally don't spend a whole lot of time on my business on the weekends just because that's usually when Preston has off work and we're, you know, usually trying to do something fun or whatever. Um, so yeah, like I said, plan when you're going to do your power hour. Um, and basically, like, like I said, it's up to you how much you want to put into the business. You get to decide. This is your, your business. You're the CEO, as they say. Um, you can decide if you want to put in 10 hours a week or if you want to put in 30 hours a week. I mean, I know, like, Melanie Mitro, she, when she started, she was probably working on her business a good four to eight hours every single day. But she had in her mind from the very beginning that, you know, she wanted to reach the top, basically. Um, so, I mean, if that's what you want, then awesome. Put that in your schedule and work for it. If that's, you know, if you want to do a great job with this business, but you're not necessarily aiming for top coach, then, you know, don't feel like you have to put in 
a million hours. Um, cause I, I feel like you can have a very successful coaching business putting in only an hour or two a day, you know? Um, all right. So the first one is set business hours. Next one, I'm going to talk a little bit more about power hour. Um, this was also something I didn't do for the longest time, but I know we've talked about it before. Um, so basically this is a time of focused, directed hour of work that you're working only on your business. Um, make sure you get rid of any distractions that you can as much as you possibly can. Um, so like for me, my distractions are like scrolling through my phone or if I have the TV on or, you know, doing things that aren't related to my beach body business, I get distracted pretty easily. Um, this is why I also make sure my power hours when Cammy's asleep because obviously it's hard to get um, work done when your little ones are running around. Um, and something that I found is really helpful is to have a plan of what you're going to do during your power hour before your power hour starts. Because there are a lot of times when I don't have a plan set and I get ready, I sit down at my computer and I literally stare at it. And I'm like, all right, what am I supposed to do now? Like, what was I going to do today? So trying to have your plan ready ahead of time, like maybe do it the night before while you're sitting and watching TV with your husband or whatever, you know, kind of jot down a couple things that you know you need to get done during your power hour the next day. So then if you already know what you need to do, once your power hour starts, you can get to work right away and get more stuff done. Um, all right, next, number three. This is one that I struggle with. Put your phone down. <laughs> I have a hard time doing that with at all not just with beach body but just um, like obsessed with my phone um mm -hmm. so basically when it's not your business hours don't be afraid to put your phone away go put it on the charger and go in the other room or you know go set it down um when i was first really getting into coaching i had my phone on me constantly i was constantly checking my messages i was constantly checking my emails i was constantly replying right away i felt like i had to get back to people immediately messages mm -hmm. can wait if someone is truly interested, they will still be interested in a couple hours when you're able to respond to them. Don't feel like you have to respond to them immediately. That's something that was hard for me to kind of figure out because I was so afraid if I didn't respond to them immediately, they were suddenly not going to be interested anymore. Mm -hmm. And I realized, you know what, if they truly are interested, they're still going to be interested in a few hours or in the morning when I have my power hour time or whatever. Um, so don't let that worry you or anything. Um, I mean, and I, I still have a lot of problems with putting my phone down, but I'm trying to get better. Um, and then you can even set like during family time that, you know, you're just not going to have your phone nearby at all, you know, unless you need it for a different reason, but at least like not beach body related stuff. Um, and then let's see, number four, um, use organizational tools. Um, I feel like the more organized you are, the um, quicker you'll be able to get your work done. So different things, like find what works for you. Um, for now, like I use Evernote, as I've talked about. I also use some Excel documents. Um, I know a lot, a lot of people use Google Docs because those are things that I, I believe you can sync to your phone and stuff, plus you can share them with other people. And then you can access them from like no matter what computer you're on. So because it's just on the internet and not necessarily saved to your hard drive. Um, but the more organized you can be with like your contacts, who you're talking to, who you need to follow up with, it'll help direct your time, your time that you're working a lot better too. I'm, I feel like for me, I'm in some areas of my life, I'm like super organized, and in other areas, I'm like not organized at all. So beach body, I'm kind of like, eh, some parts of it are organized and some parts are just not. So trying to get better at that. Um, but you'll definitely be able to get more done when you're, you know what you have to do and you're able to easily find names of people and things like that. Um, a really good book to read if you haven't yet. Um, if you struggle with procrastination at all, there's a book called Eat That Frog. Mm -hmm. um, it's about, um, it just gives, like each chapter is like a different tip about how to help you with procrastination. So like one of them is um, like find the thing that you hate doing in your job the most and that's what you do first every single day. So like, you know, for a lot of us it might be inviting. 
if that's what you hate the most and that's usually what you kind of put off, put off, put off, put off, put off, and then ev eventually just don't do it that day, that's the thing that you need to do first thing every single day. Um, so anyway, it's a really cool book. Um, there's like a lot of different tips in there of just ways to get more done, be um, not, our, um, not procra procrastinate as much. I struggle with that a lot. Um, but anyway, so that's a good one to check out. Um, and then my last little tip was just to find a balance. Don't let Beachbody take over your life. Um, but also don't let it fall to the back burner. Cause like I said, I kind of struggle with that. Like it was like all I did, all I thought about for a while. And then it's like, I not necessarily got burnt out, but I, I realized it was taking up too much time. And then I was just kind of like, Meh. and then I just kind of, no, I didn't forget about it. Like I kept working the business, but I wasn't doing as much as I should have. So just find that happy medium, find out what works best for you, for your family and for your goals, for your business. Um, think about where you really want it to go, how much time you really have to put into it and all of that and just kind of work it out from there. Um, so yeah, just to um, go over that quote one more time that Beachbody should give you a life. It shouldn't be your life. Um, I feel like that's really important to remember. Like that's something I, think about not daily but often I often remember that um so I feel like probably the first time I heard that was back you know a few months ago and when I realized like oh yeah I am kind of letting it take over everything so I may need to back off a little <laughs> um because you guys still have a very successful business and do a great job and help you know a ton of people without focusing every waking minute on your business so just some things to think about. Um, any questions about any of that or anything to add? Anything that helps you with time management that might help someone else? One of the questions that I had, um, and it's, I mean, just from the last thing that you said, like, maybe this is a whole nother call altogether, but like setting goals for your business. Like, I'm, I still don't really, I think I'm still, I feel so new that like, I'm not even really sure like what my goals are yet. You know what I mean? So I don't know, like any, anything to add to that? Um, well, I say definitely start with, you know, start small, like your monthly goals. Um, uh -huh. a good place to start. You can even have weekly goals. Like if you need to, for the week, make sure that you do this, this, and this every single day, you can do that. Um, as you expand more into like yearly goals and things like that, I mean, that's kind of dependent on you and what you want. Um, but like we've talked about before, you know, a good goal is diamond and then moving on from there, um, starting to build your own team. Um, I mean, yeah, that is something that we can talk about more. We can even just get on a one-on-one -on -one call if you want to and talk more about what what it is you truly want how far you want to go with the business and all that um but it's good to have your kind of like short-term goals and then longer-term goals and you can do like um income goals rank goals um goals like you know by july you want to have four working coaches on your team or um by you know, the end of the year, you want to be a two-star diamond coach. Um, cause you can, once you hit two-star diamond, um, you can, you earn these points throughout the year and you can become a premier coach. And then you are, um, invited to the leadership conference next January. Um, so that might be a good year long goal to have. Um, you can just have goals about, um, like your own, business like hitting um success club every month earning did you sign up for the um the punta cana trip next year yeah are you guys both still on the wait list have you heard gotten any information about that yet just that we're like you know in the thousands on the wait list <laughs> what's your number on the wait list do you know i can't we're like right next to each other we're one apart. <laughs> uh, but i can't remember the number can you remember it all no. Okay. It's like in the thousands though, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't let that make you feel bad because my <laughs> number 
when I signed up for the cruise, the first number that they assigned me was like number like 9,852. Whoa. Don't feel bad because, hey, I did end up with a chance to get on it. Granted, it was only like three minutes, three weeks before the cruise. Oh. <laughs> um, so don't, don't let, don't make that, don't let that make you think that you don't have a chance because you do. Um, so one of your goals can be um, earning the money to pay for the trip. So like I said, every, um, once you hit success club five, every point you earn is $10 towards your trip. And the most you can earn towards the trip, I think is 1200. Um, and then, and 1200 is the cheapest rooms you do. Once you register, you do have to pay a $300 fee. That's not anything you can earn. Like you just have to pay that. Um, but besides that, so that can be one of your goals to earn that you can have, um, goals about, you know, getting to Super Saturday every time they have it, or um, a goal for, I think Summit's already sold out for this year, so unfortunately you can't sign up for that. I'm so bummed I can't go to. Babies do, like, um, the week before Summit. No. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I don't think I'm going to make it. No. Um, yeah. But, you know, as soon as Summit is over this summer, they'll open up registration for the next one. So you can make the goal to sign up for that. Um, so just different things, things like that, just start brainstorming about them. And then we can talk later if you want to, to set more specific goals for you. Um, yeah, I think mostly I was just thinking like, I like that you just broke it down like that because I was thinking like, I don't know, do I want to be like a five star diamond, you know, like, but having those kind of smaller goals, I think is, uh, you know, something I need to be more breaking it down a little more. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Break it down. And and you can even like, um, like let's say you set a yearly goal for yourself of two star diamond or five star diamond or whatever. Then you can go back and say, okay, so by this month I need to be diamond. By this month I need to be one star diamond. By this month, you know, you can kind of work backwards too once you have a more broad goal like that as well. So just something, okay. something to think about. Um, I feel like I thought of something else I was going to say, but now I don't remember. Oh well, maybe it'll come to me later. Um, all right, any any other questions or anything? This also may, may be a different call, but I'm kind of having a hard time keeping up with all of my challengers. Um, like your current really challengers? Know. Yeah, I don't really know how to be following up with them, how often to follow up with them, um, if people stop buying Shakeology, if I continue my relationship with them. Um, I don't know. I know it's this business is more about like getting coaches, but right now I have a pool of challengers and I know that I have potential coaches in there. And so yeah. I want to be able to have personal relationships that I, I don't know how, I think there's confidence issues there too. Mm. Like I want to be able to be an authority without, you know, bugging them too much. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, well, as a general rule of thumb, when they're in the challenge group, I just try to check up on with them check up on them weekly. Um, a lot of coaches create a general like health group that they put their challengers in. Um, once they finish their main challenge group, I do have one of those groups, but it kind of fizzled and no one ever posted. So I kind of left it by the wayside, which I probably shouldn't have done, but you are more than welcome to start your own group. So once your challengers finish a group and, um, you can put them into, um, we got 10 minutes. <laughs> we can put them into um, that group. And then that can be one that you post in to, you know, kind of stay with them, even if they're, you know, check in with them. I mean, and you can still message them privately and stuff. But uh, I know a lot of people. That's a good idea. Yeah, a That's lot of people do that. Um, I also, um, a lot of my challengers like to, they kind of go from group to group. So, like, they're in one group with me and we finish it. And then. They want to be added into the next group. You are more than welcome to do that. I generally even let them join the next group, even if they cancel their Shakeology. Okay. Because I feel like, you know, the more they're around people talking about it, the more likely they'll be to hopefully order it again. Mm -hmm. um, and I always, I used to be really good about, as a challenge group ended, um, always talking to my challengers about the coaching opportunity. I've kind of gotten away from that, which I need to get back to it. But um, just so they know that it's there, they know what it's about. 
because they've gone through a challenge group with you at this point. They know what it's like. They, you know, um, it's not as scary as it sounds because some people, they hear the word coach and they're like, what? I'm not a coach. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, um, so that's always, you know, once the challenge group is over or, or even like the last week of it, you can, um, talk to them about that. And then from there, like, it's kind of up to you. You can kind of feel people out. Um, I like a lot of my past challengers that finished a group, didn't join another group. Like I do end up kind of losing contact with them, you know, every now and then they might message me and say, Hey, you know, I'm still working out, blah, 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 this and that. Thanks so much. And I'm like, Oh, awesome. Great. But I don't generally continue to keep up with them like weekly. I do send out a, um, a monthly newsletter now, which I started a few months ago. Um, and I send that to every single customer that is in my back office. So all my leads, anyone who's ever ordered anything from me, anyone who's ordered or signed up for just a free account. Um, I send out a newsletter that has my upcoming challenge groups on it. The, I do it at the beginning of each month. It has, um, the challenge pack sales for that month. It has, a little blurb in it about um, becoming a coach. I always do a Shakeology recipe, and then I usually I have a one of the little sections that's just something random, and then I usually have some kind of like fitness quote or something. So I send those out every month because then that's another way to just kind of keep in touch, and so people know I'm still there, I'm still here to support you if you need anything. Type. Right. Thing. I mean, and every now and then I will just randomly message someone to say, "Hey, how's it going since our group ended? You know, how are you doing?" Um, I'm not like super organized about that. It's kind of more just like a random thing, but, um, and sometimes they'll respond to me and sometimes they won't. So I'm like, okay, so maybe it's not going so good, but, um, so I don't really have any great, uh, advice for you on that one, but no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that was helpful. I can send you guys to, um, one of the newsletters I send out just so you can. That'd be great. Yeah, please. Um, I make it in Microsoft Word and then I save it as a PDF file before I send it out. So then that way when I send it to someone, the formatting doesn't get all screwed up. So I can send a, a PDF and the Microsoft Word versions to you also because then you can edit it and change it however you want to. Um, but yeah, that's something I've been doing for the past few months now. And I have had a few people email me back in like when Cafe Latte was coming out. One of my old customers emailed me and was like, oh, I want to try Cafe Latte. Or one of my leads randomly messaged me from or emailed me from the newsletter and was asking me questions about something. So you never know. And I always put a little blurb at the bottom of the email I send out that says, if you wish to unsubscribe from this email, just reply with the word unsubscribe. So pretty much every time I send it out, I have a couple people unsubscribe. Usually it's leads that I don't know anyway. Um, but I just do that just so I'm not like spamming anybody. I don't want them to be annoyed with me. <laughs> But, yeah, um, it's just a good way to like kind of keep in touch, you know, without yeah, because I'm sure as as you continue to grow in the business, you just it's there's just no way that you can right keep up with everyone right. Yeah. yeah. Um. Good. So hopefully that was a little bit helpful. Um, yes. We have about five minutes left. I did want to show you guys really quick. Have either of you looked into the challenge group app at all? I had it downloaded on my phone, but I haven't done anything with it. All right. Well, the portal is now officially able to be used. Hang on. Let me find. I'm going to screen share in just a second and show you. Find it. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's see. Share screen. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just on the back office. I clicked on in the news and updates. There's one that said my challenge tracker now, avail now available. Um, and it tells you kind of how to get started. But you have to go to this website first. Um, my challenge tracker portal. And then you log in with your regular Team Beachbody email and password. I haven't tried to create any of these yet, so I don't know a ton about it. I have used the app. Like, I joined a challenge group that another coach was running who was doing, like, a trial for it, and I was, like, a participant in it. 
but it looks like there's a tutorial here for the coach portal and for the app. Um, I know, let's see, you can name your group, pick your start date, number of days, what program people are doing. Um, so if you're, if like everyone in it's doing the 21 day fix, you would pick that. Or if people are all doing different groups, you could do the multi-program one. Um, oops. Description, image, and you create your group. And I know that to invite people to it, you have to have their email address. Um, I think you have to have their full name and their email address. And then that's how it sends out the invite. So then they would get this invitation in their email. They have to have the challenge track tracker app downloaded. And then they like log into the group from the app. Um, so this is basically something that you would use instead of Facebook, instead of doing a Facebook group. Um, I know, all right, I'm going to go back to, there we go. Um, I know that when I did like the trial run of it, there were, this was back in like the end of the summer, I think. Um, mm. There were a lot of things that coaches didn't really like about it and want to change. That's why it was so long before it was made available because they made a bunch of changes to it. So it could even be something that just us as coaches, like I could create a group just for us and we could test it out and see how it works, see how we like it, um, mm -hmm. see if we want to try to use it for one of our upcoming groups um, or if you want to use it yourself. I mean, you're more than welcome. You're always more than welcome to run, run groups at any time. Um, but we could kind of try it out together and see what we think of it. We could even try to do that in the next couple of weeks. And then if we like it, we could use it for the Shakeology group, the, the five-day Shakeology group, since that's a shorter group and we're, as we're trying to figure it out. We can just look into it and decide, see what we want to do. But something, download the app and maybe check out the portal. Um, watch the tutorial videos. I need to watch those. But, um, I mean, I know it's got a lot of great features on it, so you can see if it's something we like better than the Facebook groups or if we want to stick to the Facebook groups. I know sometimes it's easier to just stick with what you know, but if it's got other features and stuff, it might be worth checking out. So, yeah, so that's that. We have less than a minute, so we're probably going to get cut off. Any last words before? Thank, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your night to jump on. I appreciate sure. it. Yeah. Hopefully you learned a little something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, good. All right. Well, you ladies have a wonderful night. You and too. we will chat later. All right. Bye. Bye.